Hey guys, what's up? WW1 Superstar back here with another video. And this video is going to be um, how to get out of the map into some DLC areas on the planet Earth in Destiny, obviously. So what you're going to do is follow my trail here. And while I'm getting there, which you can just follow my trail, is I'm going to talk about the give giveaway. And the giveaway is going to happen tonight, possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure which. I have everything I need to do. And what's going to be is I'm going to have a $50 Amazon gift card. Uh, for a random choice, a Age of Empires 3 copy of game with an activation code and everything for tomorrow by random choice, and I also got a $20 GameStop gift card for someone of my choice. I'm going to pick them, and it's going to be based on who I think is the most active on my channel, and that kind of gave it away, but you know who you are. So, in this little glitch, it's going to be over here, and I'm going to explain it more when I get there. But basically, you're going to get to two DLC areas of the map that are finished. One, which is includes a mini-boss of a level called the Ultra Captain, which you will see later in this video. And the second one, and not the second one, but this one, does come in, and you can go around under the map. You don't not have, you do not have to go to the DLC areas in the map but you can go underneath it all. What you're going to do is get on that rock, specifically there, and you're going to back up slowly until it says can't, not sum, cannot summon vehicle. Then walk forward until it says it and get as close as you can to the side of the rock. Then you're going to face the rock, summon your vehicle, and boost immediately, as you're going to see me do here. Then you're just going to penetrate through that rock there and fall down into the water and flip over your sparrow, and you're going to follow my path under here and you're going to find a stairwell just around here as you can see right about now it's kind of that blocky area but then the stairwell comes into play and you hop on that junk and walk around and you follow this path and when this all turns white that's when it loads in the DLC area and not under the map anymore and you're going to come up on here and this area is a little slick it did take me a couple tries as you can see here and you're going to slide down, but you're going to have to keep jumping up here. And Hunter definitely is the easiest. You do not have to be a Hunter, but it is, is the easiest to do with the, these two on because of the double jump is one because you can stop midair and on the way down and also the agility perks of the Hunter. And the others, it's going to be a little bit harder because you have glide or lift or whatever they are. All are on different subclasses and different characters. So then you're going to follow my path, obviously, and I was trying to jump over this, which wasn't exactly the right move. You're going to get over here on these bars and then hop around it. You're going to slide down into that area right there, or if I can find my way down there, right there. Yeah, right there. You're going to go up on the side there until you get that little crevice. You're going to make sure you do not fall in there, which is another part where the hunter comes in handy, and you bounce up onto there. If not, you can just use the lift and kind of move yourself over the platform. And I'm going to go show you where there's a DLC dead ghost to be revived, which will be in the DLC, but you can get it before the DLC, believe it or not. And it's going to be right there. So make sure you go get that dead ghost. You can get it before almost anyone else. And you're going to come up here. And this is, you don't have to come up here, but I'm going to kind of show you this room. None of the doors open because it is not technically a part of the map yet, which is sad because I'd love to go explore around in there. That looks like a boss arena. Kind of like um, some of the boss arenas where they're kind of circular with a little bit of cover. And if you go back to the start I'm about to show you here, I, there's going to be a boss behind a door that doesn't open obviously. But there's going to be a boss and if you go there on your own you will be able to hear him roar. And I did hear him roar in here but the game volume is off so you guys can hear me and hear what it, the tutorial. And you can see him on the mini-map. He is behind that door. And then basically here comes the second one. For the second one, you're really going to have to just kind of follow my path through this building to your right instead of to your left. And just kind of go through it. I think it's easier to go through it on the sparrow. But some people might think it's, depending on the control you have over your sparrow, some people might think it's easier just to run through. But it's all personal preference. And this one, I do think this 
out of the map, I do think is a lot more interesting considering you can fight the mini boss for the level that will be here. I'm not sure which DLC will be this one is in, but I know it's going to be in one of them. So it's going to be pretty awesome. And this one is a lot trickier to get into. You will definitely see what I mean by the two area, two sections, I should say, that you have to do that do get tricky. And it did take me a few tries, and this is the second, third, fourth time I've done this. So just a little heads up, this might get a little tricky. And as you come around here, you might get a little loading, which is just okay. I don't know if you've probably been here before, though, so that's just fine. And as I go through here, you're going to go to the right a little bit here and go up into this little subway area, which is mysteriously long for just this back of the map, is what I used to think. Then you're going to come up around here and... I'm going, and when you go up here, if you continue down the hallway, you will see where the entrance will be, which I'm about to show you right now. This is where the entrance to the DLC will be, but it's not open right now. And you're going to do the same trick I did earlier in the rock. But make sure, if you do go up there to look at where the entrance will be, you do have to walk all the way out of the subway station and back in. Otherwise, it says cannot summon vehicle in location. I had to do that, which is why the cut scene right there. And if you do get stuck here you're going to have to do a little wiggle with your joystick which is what I do to get through and if you get stuck again you're just going to have to use your boost again to give you the initial boost and right about here there you can go through the wall but you don't want to go back into the hallway because I mean that kind of defeats the purpose and there is an invisible wall right there so you're going to have to go a little bit into the door right there to get around and a little bit off the edge of that hill but when you get up here this is where it starts to get confusing the Roofs are not solid, so you have to hop on the ceilings of the buildings until you get to this gray one, which I fell in a crack, which doesn't doesn't exactly make it easier. But this one is solid, and so is this green one over here, which you're going to have to jump on top of. And you're just going to continue running along, and that rusty building to your left is, in fact, uh, I don't want to say transparent because it's not transparent, but you can go through it. And you're going to come over to where you see a broken window. And this broken window is going to be your entrance, but this is definitely the hardest part of both of them. So I, I will cut a little bit here just because it took me three tries and Hunter is the easiest one. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to jump down and use your... For a Hunter, you're going to have to jump down and double jump back up and land on that little bar in the middle. If you're a Titan or Warlock, you're going to glide as soon as you get down like that. You're going to glide and kind of try to glide in. But as you see, I'm the Hunter so with my new character, so I'm just going to hop on that bar and hop in. And once you get in here, there is, if you wait a little bit, there will be an Ultra Captain, which is the mini boss, comes out. So he's going to come out through that door you see up by my right. And I'm going to walk out a little bit so he comes in. And... I'm going to fight him. It does not take that long. He's a mini boss, so he's really easy. And I'm just going to get rid of these trigs real quick, just so I can kill this guy easily. But this should not take very long at all. And the mini boss is pretty cool. I the skins of the Vandals and Shanks are different, so I think this is going to be a pretty cool DLC. This is a more open area of a building that I've seen. Most of them have been kind of hallway-ish, closed up. This is kind of open, kind of different look to it and feel. But that is the Ultra Captain. As you can see, it is not hard at all to kill him. He is pretty easy, at least for level 24. So, there is a pretty good view over there. If you look out the window, is it the sh sh shuttle. I couldn't think of the word there. About says spaceship. And that's the shuttle. It's pretty cool. And then if you go down the hallway, you're about to see me go down. This is going to be the way to see the other side of the door to get in, just to see where you would be coming in at. Because you are going to fight the mini boss at the end of the level. So you would have to go through all these people to get to the mini boss at the end of this level in the DLC. Which this, which this one, sorry about the little audio bug there, I don't know what happened. Must be an issue, but which I think I lost my train of thought. But what 
I was trying to say, I think, was which this one does not have a lot of health, so it really does not matter, like, if you have an issue fighting bosses, it really doesn't take that long. It's not that hard. But that's the way you'll be coming in from the outside and you'll be fighting through all these people. Just a little heads up, which is not not that hard. And by the way, if you have not noticed or if you're one of my subscribers, my audio is a little better because I'm using with the new PlayStation update, the PlayStation default recorder with the share factory. So I think this is a lot better. So I probably will be doing this earlier. So this, or not earlier, but later, because this one does seem to be working a lot better for me. I hope you guys enjoy it. But here's going to be a little secret spot or safe spot, which will help you fight the mini boss if you are not a high enough level to be doing this mission in the DLC, which some people are not. So this is where going. This is a good safe spot, which there is a safe spot in almost every strike, which I should do a video on because some people do not know where these spots are. But thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome PS4 content. So thanks for watching. Peace.